Module 10, Chapter 7.4, Matrix Properties and Operations. Recall that a matrix is a rectangular array of numbers. Matrices are classified by their dimensions, the number of rows by the number of columns. A matrix with M rows and M columns has a dimension M by N. The number of rows is always given first. A square matrix has the same number of rows as it does columns. The dimension of a square matrix is N by N. Find the dimension of each matrix. This one has two rows and three columns, so this is a two by three matrix. This one has one row, but it has five columns, so this is a one by five matrix. Number C has three rows and three columns, so this would be a three by three matrix. Two matrices are equal if they have the same dimension and if corresponding elements position by position are equal. They have to be exactly the same. Determine if the following matrices are equal. A and B. Well, A is a 2 by 2, B is a 2 by 2. They all have the same values, but because they're located in different places, they are not equal. Row 1, column 1 is 6 here. Row 1, column 1 is negative 3 here. Therefore, matrix A is not equal to matrix B. A matrix containing only zeros as elements is called a zero matrix. It can be 2 by 2, it could be 1 by 4, but every element in that matrix has to be zero. The additive inverse or the negative of a matrix A is denoted by negative A. Given matrix A, the elements of matrix negative A or opposite of A are additive inverses of the corresponding elements of A. That means every element in the inverse will have a sign opposite of that in the original matrix. Every matrix A has a unique additive inverse, which means for every matrix, there is only one matrix that is the inverse. Matrix A plus the inverse is equal to zero. Now matrices can be added, subtracted, and multiplied. To add two matrices, they must be of the same size, and you simply add the corresponding elements. To subtract two matrices, they must also be of the same size, and you simply subtract, or add the opposite of, the corresponding elements. Okay, let's try one. To add these two matrices, they're both two by two, so the answer will also be two by two. If you add row one, column one to row one, column one, six plus a negative one is five. Row one, column two, eight plus two is 10. Row two, column one, negative three plus zero is negative three. Row two, column two, four plus three would give us seven. Now number B, we have a two by three matrix here. We have a three by two matrix here. Those are not the same size, therefore they are not subtractable. Multiplication can be defined in two different ways. One way is multiplication by a scalar, which is just some real number. To multiply by a scalar, you multiply each element by that number. The second type is multiplication of two matrices. Two matrices can be multiplied only if the number of columns in the first matrix is the same as the number of rows in the second matrix. 
the product will have the same number of rows as the first matrix and the number of columns as the second matrix. And I know that sounds weird, but if you have a 2 by 3 matrix that you want to multiply by a 3 by 4 matrix, these two numbers have to match, and the answer would be the two on the outside. So as long as the, first, the two middle ones match, then you're good to multiply. Perform the following operations if possible. The first one is multiplication by a scalar, which means we're just doing everything in the matrix by 3. So we get negative 3, 6, 0, and 9. The second two, multiplication of matrices. This is a 2 by 3. The second one, now this first one is a 3 by 2. The second one is a 2 by 3. So the middle numbers match, so it's multipliable. And the answer is going to be a 3 by 3. Now what you're going to do, basically it's row 1 times column 1. So you're going to do 2 times 1 is 2. 1 times negative 8 is negative 8. 2 plus negative 8 would be negative 6. Second one, you're doing row 1 times column 2. So you've got 2, t 2 and 1 times 0 and 1. You multiply the numbers, but you add the entries. So that would be like 2 times 0 plus 1 times negative 1. So that's 0 plus negative 1, which is negative 1. The third one, we're doing row 1 times column 1. So that would be 2 times 2 plus 1 times 9. So 4 plus 9 would be 13. Okay, now let's do it again. Remember we said we're looking for 3 by 3. So the second time we're going to do row 2 times column 1. Because think about it, this is in row 2 and column 1. So that's 5 and 2 times 1 and 8. So that's 5 times 1 plus negative 2 times negative 8. So that's 5 plus 16, so that one is 21. The next one, row 2 times column 2. So that's 5 and 2 times 0 and 1, so that's 5 times 0 plus negative 2 times negative 1, which would be 0 plus 2, which is 2. Now, it works out well if you can just sort of put one hand on one row and one hand on the column and sort of multiply and add as you're going through. Row 2, column 3, that's 5 and 2, 5 and negative 2, 2 and 9, so that's 5 times 2 plus negative 2 times 9. So that's 10 and negative 18, which is negative 8. Third row, 0 times 1 is 0. 3 times 8 is negative 24, so that is negative 24. Row 3 times column 2, that's 0, 3 here, 0, negative 1 here. So 0 times 0 plus. 3 times negative 1, which is negative 3. Okay, I hope this makes sense. You're doing this row times this column, this row times this column, this row times this column. Then you're doing this row times this column, this row times this column, this row times this column. So last entry is the third row, third column, that's 0 and 3 times 2 and 9. So 0 and 2 plus 3 times 9. So that's 0 plus 27, which is 27. Now, we can do this on our calculator. So we're going to go second matrix. First thing we're going to do is edit it. So we're going to let matrix A be the 3 by 2 matrix, which looks like 2, 1, 5, negative 2, 0, and 3. 
Now we're going to second quit that one. Then we're going to do it again. Second matrix. We're going to edit. And this time we're going to go down and edit matrix B. And that one is a 2 by 3 matrix. And when we enter that one, it's 1, 0, 2, negative 8, negative 1, and 9. Now we're going to second quit that one. So now what we're going to do is go back, recall matrix A. So we go second matrix, choose option number 1, times second matrix. We're going to choose option number B, which would give us negative 6, negative 1, 13, 21, 2, negative 8, 24, negative 3, and 27. Exactly what we got doing pencil paper method. Okay, clearing the screen for a new problem. To multiply this one, well, this one is a 2 by 2. This one is a 3 by 3. Well, remember what I told you, the two inside numbers don't match up. So this one is not possible to multiply. Oh, the first one we did not do on our calculator, so let's back up and do that one. 3 times negative 1, 2, 0, 3. So we go to second matrix, slide over to edit, and we are going to make this a 2 by 2 matrix. So it would be negative 1, 2, 0, whoops, 0, and 3. We're going to do second quit. Now we just go 3 times second matrix. Now remember we put this in matrix A, which would give us negative 3, 6, 0, 9, which is exactly what we got when we did it pencil paper method, just multiplying everything by 3. Now you're ready to complete this section of homework on my math lab.